transforming your beliefs are, it's not just an easy quick fix thing. You know, um, we handle, we have all these beliefs based on our past and all the relationships we've ever had, all the teachers we've ever um, come in contact with. And um, I did a lot of different types of exercises to help change the beliefs that I didn't realize I had. So the first, the first um, step is to think about what it is that you really believe right now. Um, you, you think that you know to be true based on your past and based on what your experience has taught you. Uh, they're telling you now, right? Um, and this one can be tricky because there are a lot of them that are just self-conscious, subconscious, and we don't even realize it. So really, um, it was a really, really powerful shift in, um, in, in my journey to finding real love, um, to realize that I had these experiences that taught me to believe that um, relationships were doomed. You know, I, I didn't have the relationship chip, as my friend Lizzie says. Um, I thought I wasn't born with it. Um, maybe I was too type A, I was too um, strong of a personality, um, a Capricorn. I've been, you know, alone for so many years, um, just wasn't possible. Um, you know, I believe that men just wanted me for sex and nothing else. Um, and they didn't even really, you know, I kept attracting people that had no desire to, to have a relationship whatsoever with, with anybody. Um, they were not ever going to commit to anybody. That's not where they, that's not what they wanted. Um, but I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't believe that. That's not what I wanted. You know, I, I wanted a husband. Um, and I, so once I determined that I had these beliefs, um, I worked really hard to transform them. And it wasn't until I believed that it was possible to attract a husband that I became obsessed with um, becoming the person that I wanted to marry. That's when it all came together and that's when, you know, we came together. So um, one of the, exercises in my book and in the workbook is transforming your limiting beliefs and is actually writing it out and really helpful to identify um, and if you're not really sure what your beliefs currently are you start by asking well I would have a boyfriend if or I would have a husband if I would date right now but um, um, I can't find anybody because that's another good question. Um, I had lunch with a friend the other day and she said, her daughter said, I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm going to meet anybody because I work from home. All right. Well, that belief is going to keep you single. So your beliefs are either going to get you closer to your goal or they're going to keep you away from your goal. Cause this, the more you focus on that, the more energy you put around that negative belief, um, the more you find things in reality for it to come true. That's just what we do. It's human nature. It's how our brain works. So um, think about what it is that you actually believe right now. Um, some maybe believe that every good man is already married. I thought that. Um, right after I got divorced, I thought no one's going to want to marry me unless I get a boob job and liposuction. <laughs> so, um, um, oh, I had another friend who thought that people, men my age only want to meet younger girls. That's probably a really popular belief with anybody over 40. Um, and so then you identify them and then you write the things down um, that prove that belief is false. That's all it is, is a belief. That doesn't make it true. Um, may have been true with one teacher in your life before, but that doesn't matter. So we prove in real life, find instances around you right the second, right now, that prove that that's, this is false. There are couples that have been together for a long time. There are husband and wives that love each other and have been together for you know, 20, 25 years. Uh, they're still madly in love. Um, there are men right now who married people that, that are the same age. Uh, there are lots of men who like people that are not young. And so you find those things and you actually write them all down and then you can visit them and reread them and and train yourself to look for the opposite of those beliefs. And then you gradually 
change, you gradually start believing it. You, you, you're really transforming your reality. And you'll start to notice that there are happy couples, there are good men, there are lots of people that are um, single and amazing. And that is what trains you to start being a magnet for the things that you really want to create. Not what you've experienced in the past, but what you want to create. So I really, that, this, these exercises really helped me a lot. They're in the workbook, they're in the book. And um, that was really a, a, a huge, huge um, shift for me to create what I wanted. You have to believe that it's possible. Henry Ford said, anything that uh, you can Im Im imagine and believe you can achieve. Didn't say if you can just imagine it, you can achieve it. You have to believe that it's true.